When homesteading began in the 1880s, it was difficult to get mail into the valley. It came as far as St. Anthony in Idaho and only made it to Jackson Hole when a local volunteer spent a day or two traveling over the Teton Pass. The mail delivery stopped during the winter months, with the heavy snowfall rendering the mountain route impassable. Many homesteaders found the long winter months isolating without news from friends or family. In 1892, after several years of letters and an approval process, Jackson Hole was awarded its first post office. Once there were enough residents, the mail was delivered six days a week. Those who received the contract of postmaster were usually women. They kept track of the necessary supplies, and their only income was from the sale of stamps. There was little need for cash in the valley as there was little to buy. However, having a few dollars on hand was a necessity. The office of postmaster could rotate between neighbors, often because the post office only consisted of an organized box. In larger communities like Jackson, Moran, and Gravant, the post offices were actual buildings, or in a dedicated room in someone's home. Other post offices like Moose and Jenny Lake were started purely to keep up with the influx of tourist letters during the summer months. There were 15 separate communities with their own post offices in Jackson Hole. By the 1960s, the majority of them had closed. With improved road conditions and safer river crossings, the valley became more accessible, and the post offices were consolidated. The improved road conditions allowed automobiles to traverse the valley, and the old mail sleighs and wagons ceased operation. <laughs>